hi guys it's valerie in here thank you so much for subscribing for watching the videos for commenting and if you haven't subscribed please do and please make sure you hit the notification button so you can be notified of new videos okay as I said, thanks for commenting. Not only do you comment, but you also have requests. And today's video is going to feature a request which I got from a subscriber. And that is all about how to calculate the required amount of fabric for box cushions. Now, I don't want to be nuanced neither do, do i want to make it longer or more difficult or complex than it ought to be so i actually went through and i did it step by step here at the when we edit the video i'll just go ahead and put a picture of the steps along with the video so you can have access to that okay so before i start i actually should share with you guys that a few years ago when i had to finish my major project just to get certified in interior decorating from Seneca College in Toronto, I actually had to teach myself how to calculate fabric for box cushions because we learned certain stuff, but we didn't learn box cushion. But you know, sometimes you just have to use the knowledge you have to deduce and be able to do other things well that's what i did i did some deduction and i actually learned taught myself how to calculate your fabric for box cushion okay so i'll be imparting that knowledge with you today and i hope it will be clear and concise now before we start the actual calculations there are a few things i want to establish now your finish width and your finish length are usually referred to as fw and fl finished width finish length and that is basically just what you finish with when the you're finished stitching your cushion that's what it is you measure across from here to here should be your finish width your finish length okay so your cushion finishes with those measurements however what you need to calculate how much fabric you will need is not your finish width nor your finish length it is actually your cut width and your cut length your cut width and your cut length is usually referred to as CW and CL. Okay. Now to get your cut width and your cut length, what you have to do is to add an allowance to your, your finished width and your finished length. Now I should point out that we are using a box cushion. I'm using the same box cushion size that I use for my project few years ago when i got it done so the finish width is 43 inches and the finish length is 28 inches and as as i said to get your cut width and cut length you will have to add an allowance now the allowance i usually add for seams like that is about half an inch so half an inch on either side half an inch plus half an inch is one inch so we will add one inch to our finish width and one inch to our finish length in order to get the cut width and cut length so that's 43 plus one it's right here our cut width equals our finish width which is 43 inches plus our allowance which is one inch equals 44 inches so that is the number that we will be using later on to do our calculations for the width now our cut length equals our finish length which is 28 inches 
plus our allowance, which is an inch, equals 29 inches. So our cut width is 44 inches, cut length 29 inches. These are the measurements that we will be using to do the calculations. But there are a few other things we need to get to before we actually start the calculation. Next is the panels that we need for the box cushion. How many panels do we need? Yeah, we need two panels. One for the front, one for the back. Okay, so we need two panels for our box cushion. So that's what we have here, the two panels. We need two panels that are going to be 44 inches wide and 29 inches long. So what we need next is to find out the width of the fabric that we will be working with. Now, most decor fabrics are usually 54, sometimes 60 inches wide, or if you get double width, it might be 118 or something like that. However, for this calculation, I will be using a fabric that is 54 inches wide. So fabric width equals 54 inches. Okay, so what we need to do next is to find out how many widths, which is the 44 inches wide width, how many widths can we get from our 54 inches of fabric? So therefore, we will divide 54 inches by 44 inches and that will be 1.3 panels. However, we do not concern ourselves with the 0.3 panels. We concern ourselves with the one panel. I'll show you just a concrete example. Now, this is not 54 inches wide. Let's just pretend it's just for the camera because 54 would be too much to work with within this realm. <laughs> so let's say this is 54 inches. What we do is divide this by 44 and what we will get is one panel and a piece left over which would be 10 inches okay so we can get one panel for our box cushion from one width of 54 inch fabric so we can get one panel therefore how many panels do we need to make the box cushion we need two panels right so if we can get one panel from our 54 inch fabric, it means then that in order to get two panels back and front, we will need two times one, which is two. So we will need two widths, W-I-D-T-H-S. We will need two widths of 54 inch fabric to be able to get both our front panel cushion, cushion panel and our back cushion panel. Okay, so we've established we need two widths. Therefore, let's go on and uh, see how much fabric we will need. We haven't dealt with the length so far we calculated the length here but we have not dealt with the length yet so now we are going to deal with the length so we need two pieces one two pieces of 54 inch fabric okay so what we will do is multiply the two pieces by 29 because each piece is going to be 29 inches because 
our panel is 44 by 29 inches long so we will multiply 29 inches by two pieces two widths and we will get 54 inches and that's how much fabric we need to make the two panels front and back okay but we don't go into the store and ask for fabric by inches we go into the store and we ask for fabric by yards so in order to get how many yards we need we will then have to divide 58 by 36 because there are 36 inches in a yard and we will get 1.61 yards of fabric so we will need 1.6 yards of fabric to make our front panel and our back panel okay and as i said before in other videos calculations never round down when you're buying fabric for your soft furnishings always round up so instead of 1.61 we will ask for two yards of fabric okay we will ask for two yards of fabric and if you want to calculate the yards to meter convert the yards to meter then you can multiply by 0.95 okay and then you'll find how many uh, meters of fabric you will need but that's just for the panel how about the gusset so you you remember when we look at the 54 inch fabric we would take 44 from the 54 for our panel so we would have about 10 inches remaining and that would be times two so that would be that would leave us with a piece of fabric that's 10 inches by 58 inches long so depending on the width and the length of your gusset you probably would have enough fabric left over to do that however if you don't we will go ahead here in case you don't and you need to add the gusset the amount of fabric you will need for the gusset we'll go ahead and look at how you calculate the amount of fabric you need for your gusset to join your two panels so we will need this measurement and we will need the measurement that goes all around okay so we measure all around to get that measurement and then we measure here to get this measurement and I am using measurements that would be four inches by 142 inches. Okay, so we take those measurements, we take the 142 inches and we divide by the width of the fabric, which is 54 inches wide, and that gives us 2.7 so we can go ahead and round that up to three three panels we need three panels for our gusset so to finish off how many inches of fabric we will need for our gusset we take the three that we got over here and we multiply that by the four inches which would be from here to here okay and that would give us um 12 so that would be 12 four threes 12 inches then we in turn divide that 12 inches by 36 inches 
because we want to find out how many yards we will need for our gusset. So we divide the 12 inches that we get here by 36 inches and that's equal to 0.33 yards. Okay? 0.33 yards now you do not round down you round up so i would round up to 0.4 or to be on the safe side 0.5 so you would round up to 0.5 that is a half a yard a half a yard of fabric so then we would in turn take our half yard from here and we would add it to the two yards up here which means that in order to make our box cushion with the gusset we will need two plus point five equals two point five yards so we need 2.5 yards in order to make a box cushion which is 43 inches by 28 inches we will need 2.5 yards of fabric okay you may have a bit left over depending on all your precise measurements and the width of your fabric but then what you do you make yourself some throw cushions to help to tie everything together in your space so that is it that is how you calculate how much fabric you will need for a box cushion now as i said before i will include a picture of this or you can just shoot me an email my email will be accompanying the video and you can ask me any questions you can also visit my website at v-a-l-r-i-n-e v-e-r-n-o-n dot com that's valerine vernon dot com okay so once again thank you so much for subscribing it's my honor to share whatever knowledge little knowledge i have with you if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe please hit the notification button so you can be notified of new videos i have passed that 500 subscribers and i am trying i told my family that I'm going to see if I can get to a thousand by the end of the year, but you never know with your help, you can help me to get to the thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Thank you so much again. Blessings, love, you take care and I'll see you in the next video.